because we have we have we have another violin here. Welcome to the South Korea and Algeria's 30th anniversary of diplomatic establishment. Cultural interactions in opening a new horizon of creativity. I sincerely hope that this concert will contribute to the expansion of the cultural cooperation between our two countries. Ambassador and Madam, thank you very much for inviting us today. You're most welcome, and I would like to say uh, marhaban, which means in Arabic you are most welcome. Oh, thank you. Can I offer you some Algerian tea, which is green tea with a mint? Oh, yes, please. I would love to. <laughs> and I will do it in the Algerian way. Oh, we do it like this. Wow. <laughs> Can I offer you also some Algerian cake, which is called baklava? Oh, it feels delicious. Mm. Very good. Very it's fresh good. mint. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. The flavor of and mint green tea is very fresh. mixed together. Yes. Uh -huh. mm. So now should I try my dessert? Yeah, okay. <laughs> please. What is the flavor coming from the dessert? This one is uh, uh, almonds, mm -hmm. walnuts, mm -hmm. and uh, pistachio. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Little bit of cinnamon and oh, honey. I see, I see. I love the texture and taste as well. Thank you so much. Most welcome. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> yes, I did. Thank you. Um, so, I've heard that a variety of events were held to celebrate the 30th anniversary of diplomatic ties between South Korea and Algeria? Yeah, indeed. Well, we celebrated this year, of the, uh, in, on uh, this uh, month of October, we celebrated the uh, 30th anniversary mm -hmm. of the diplomatic ties between the two countries. It, uh, it coincided, in fact, with the 15th of January. Oh, but see. we celebrated it in October because uh -huh. of the weather, Oh, Since I see. we made the choice to have it in an open space, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we wanted to share it with the, the largest number possible of citizens, mm -hmm. Korean citizens, mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. So we were lucky uh, that uh, the mayor uh, of uh, Seoul City accepted to give us the uh, Seoul City Plaza mm -hmm. to, uh, to organize that show. And that's how that, uh, a team from Algeria has come. 
and they uh, shared and completed with another team, Korean team. Uh -huh. And one part of the show was that the Algerian team was playing and singing Korean songs oh. while the Koreans were playing and singing Algerian songs. That sounds great. Uh -huh. uh, Ambassador, actually I've heard that uh, Madame involved a lot for this event. Yes, for sure. You know, as the spouse of a diplomat and of an ambassador, the wife has a big role to play also right. besides her uh -huh. husband. Uh -huh. I would say that uh, my wife, Mrs. Shafiq Adiragi, is uh, mm -hmm. very, very involved in all the cultural events mm -hmm. that we do organize. Mm, I see. Yeah. Um, I've met a lot of ambassadors' spouses in the past, but I've never seen anyone who take on such an active role. Actually, I love to do it, first mm -hmm. of all. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy uh, to show our country to Korea. I mean, mm. to people or citizens of Korea. Uh -huh. When we came, it was um, everybody was. When I had some uh, Korean friends, they were asking me from where you are. I'm saying from Algeria. Uh -huh. So immediately they said Algeria, and they think about team, about football team. Right. But <laughs> never about uh -huh. our culture, uh -huh. about uh -huh. our food, about our dresses. Uh -huh. Then. Uh, we start like we did in all the countries. Mm -hmm. We had also we had many activities in uh, the past. Mm -hmm. I said that we are going to do like what we did in another countries, many cultural activities, and that's why we start with that. And mm -hmm. so we we are doing many things, and I'm very happy oh, to do that. Right to show my country to Koreans. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, and I heard that the music performance was a great success at the Seoul City Plaza. Yes, well, mm -hmm. it was successful, and thanks God, because uh, the both teams, Korean and Algerian, they worked very hard during the last three months. Uh, you know, it's not easy for the Koreans to learn and to sing in Arabic, and for the Algerian too, it wasn't easy to learn mm -hmm. by heart songs mm -hmm. in Korean. So uh, they worked very, very hard for the last three months. Uh -huh. I hope that everybody has liked it and uh, enjoyed it. I'm sure. I'm sure they did. Um, how were, were the songs selected? To say the truth, I'm the one who selected the, the songs and with, the, with our compositor because we want to talk only about the country. And that's what we did, actually. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. we, we select a beautiful country. And we s uh, select also Arirang, which is uh, mm -hmm. a very known uh, song. Mm -hmm. And another two songs also, which is uh, Aleikum Min Salam, mm -hmm. that is mean peace on you, my country. Mm -hmm. And uh, also the second country, it's um, Bledi El Jazair, uh, my country, Algeria. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it was only on the countries, because mm -hmm. we are talking about cooperation between countries, right. and that's uh -huh, why uh -huh. we choose this songs which mm -hmm. really I love it. It was really very beautiful to see and mm -hmm. in one time when they start to, to sing in Arabic I start mm -hmm. to cry and I couldn't believe oh, it mm -hmm. <laughs> because it was so beautiful mm -hmm. to hear them. Mm -hmm. In fact mm -hmm. it is a, a kind of patriotic songs yes. mm -hmm. but not uh, in the military way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's more melodious. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just and to talk about the music. country, uh -huh. about love of the countries. Uh -huh. I mean, not nothing else, and no, uh -huh. not politically or something like right, that. No, but right. love of the countries. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes. Uh, while you were planning for the musical performance, I'm sure that um, you had a chance to compare Korean music and Algerian music. Um, could you tell us more about the similarities or differences between our two countries' music? I think there are some similarities in case that. Uh, the, uh, the, the musical heritage, it's always about the history, about mm. the traditional culture, mm -hmm. about the customs. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this sense, they are very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Of mm -hmm. course, in a country of Algeria, as you know, it's a very large country. It's the biggest country in Africa. Mm -hmm. So from one region to another, uh -huh. you have specific cultural heritage. And from one region to another, from the north to the south, from east to west, mm -hmm. also the music is different. Mm -hmm. But there are two fundamentals in music. Mm -hmm. We have inherited well, what we call the Andalusian music. As you know, the Andalusian music came from Spain during the Arab occupation of Spain. Mm -hmm. And later on, all the Maghrebian countries, especially Tunisia, Morocco, and Algeria, mm -hmm. has uh, 
perpetuated this, uh, this music. Mm -hmm. Then in Algeria specifically, we have what we call the Shabi. Shabi, the translation means popular. Oh. Mm -hmm. And of course, Korea is very known outside thanks to the K-pop. <laughs> but Algeria <laughs> also is very known outside and worldwide thanks to the Rai music. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And once also when I came uh, newly here, I put the radio on in the car and I was surprised to hear Korean song, mm -hmm. but with Rai mm -hmm. composition. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so it was the, uh, the Algerian song, Rai, uh -huh. with Korean words. Oh, I see. <laughs> so the outfit that you wore at the 30th anniversary event was much talked about. Uh, was it an Algerian traditional outfit? Yes, absolutely. It was an uh, Algerian outfit, uh -huh. traditional one. And as you saw that day, uh, the MC was wearing a traditional uh, dress and uh -huh. uh, she was changing all the time because each part of Algeria has her own dress uh -huh. and her own jewelry. Uh -huh. oh, so see. that's why we, we choose some of big cities. Uh -huh. cities uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. uh, what are some characteristics of Algerian traditional clothes? Many. I would like you come with me and I will show you. I explain to you is better near oh, the yeah. Yes. <laughs> So as we said before that we have uh, in, in Algeria we have many clothes, I mean each part of Algeria has her own dress, mm -hmm. uh, but here officially wow. we can't have everything. Mm -hmm. So I just want to let you explain to you about this one, okay. which is okay. from the north of Algeria. Mm -hmm. And this one is uh, embroidery, which is handmade mm -hmm. embroidery, we oh, call it Majboud, yes. Mm -hmm. And here we have the um, west of Algeria. Mm -hmm. We call it blusa. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, actually, it's more than this one. Wow. You know, in Algeria, it's always changing the models. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. there are always creativity of some more and the new models. Mm -hmm. And we have this one. This one is from the model has didn't oh. change since a long, long time. Uh -huh. Everything is is with handmade. Wow. And this one actually is also from the west of Algeria. Uh -huh. And uh, actually when I got married, uh -huh. I wore this one with uh -huh. a lot of jewelry and the hair and uh -huh. yeah, many jewelry. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. And all is with handmade. So as we wanted to do a special address oh, what is this? for cooperation uh -huh. Algeria and Korea, uh -huh. this handbook actually was made in Algeria. Wow. Yes, <laughs> but no the special <laughs> things is that the trouser, as I'm wearing, the same model, mm -hmm. what is typically Algerian, which uh -huh. is from the north of Algeria, uh -huh. we did it down and the oh. rest is the handbook. Oh. So on the top oh, is see. Korea and uh -huh. the down is Algeria. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's a combination of Korean it's traditional okay. handbook yeah. and Algerian traditional clothes. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I see. Yes. It's beautiful. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. it. And as you, you have seen in that event, uh, like for example this one, which is mm -hmm. Algerian Korea, I was <laughs> just thinking when the, um, the singer will finish her uh -huh. song, uh -huh. then she opened the fan and open like this because you have this dance Mm. which I love, uh -huh, I like uh -huh. it very much with the fun. So I just had that idea to have two flags, mm, Algeria and Korea. Uh -huh. That is the good cooperation. Uh -huh. Such a great idea. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so what kind of projects are in work to further improve our bilateral relations? You know, the bilateral relations between the, uh, Algeria and South Korea has grown very, very fast. Mm -hmm. The uh, relations have expect, uh, expanded so fast that now it has uh, touched every sector of life, of economic life and mm -hmm. even the cultural life. Mm -hmm. And uh, this expansion, uh, very quick expansion and developing of these relations have led in 2006 to the establishment of a strategic partnership mm -hmm. between Korea and Algeria. Mm -hmm. And Algeria is the only country in Africa with whom Korea has a strategic partnership. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have quite a large number of Korean companies 
who won some tenders in Algeria, mm -hmm. and they are present in Algeria. They have a uh, permanent office, permanent representation, mm -hmm. and they are engaged either directly or through their Korean subcontractors also in many projects, in many fields like uh, power uh, generation uh, centrals, uh, in the oil sector, the oil and gas sector, uh, building new cities. Of course, uh, this is not only, but we have also on the political side, we have a permanent political dialogue between the two governments uh, through exchange of visits of high officials. So, and also, of course, in the cultural uh, field, also uh, there is agreement of uh, cultural exchanges and so on. So, and uh, that is how that we try to involve the maximum possible our two public institutions, both in Algeria and in Korea, mm -hmm. to be involved in these cultural exchanges. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a lot of large-scale projects are going on between our two countries. Yes. And do you have any other plans to promote Algerian culture here in Seoul? For sure. You know, we are lucky as Algeria to belong to the Arab world and we belong to Africa in the same time. Right. So we are almost participating in all cultural events that, uh, for example, the Africa Foundation uh -huh. is uh, organizing with us. And we are also participating in all the events that uh, the Korea Arab Society mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. is organizing. So it's uh, quite a large number of uh, activities. Uh, most of them, unfortunately, of course, are in Seoul city, but sometimes they, it happens that they are in other cities. Oh, uh -huh. We had recently food exhibition in Busan, oh, and uh -huh. it was very big successful. Uh -huh. And we present uh, couscous, which is our main food oh. in Algeria, uh -huh. and some of the cakes. Wow. Uh -huh. And that the reason was because uh, couscous become the heritage of UNESCO, oh. and that was the big reason that's like this citizens of Busan also this uh -huh. time. <laughs> uh -huh. They can test it and know about our food. Oh, I wish I was there to try some Algerian traditional food. We are already prepared that food, the couscous. Oh. And that uh -huh. is for you today uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. to try it. Uh -huh. So like this, you will know today and we explain to you more than when you are going to try. Oh, thank yeah. you. So you didn't miss anything. <laughs> oh, I didn't. <laughs> Please let's go to test some of our food and especially couscous and I will let you to know about it. Oh, I would love to. Thank Please. you. <laughs> wow, this is a beautiful sight. You prepared a lot. Thank you very much and this is for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if you allowed me, I can stand up. Stand up uh -huh. and explain yes. to you uh -huh. all sure. the couscous which we prepared today, uh -huh. yes. especially for you. <laughs> I'm going to start with this one. This uh -huh. one is a couscous with um, sugar, oh, okay. yeah, and raisins and cinnamon. Oh. This one is from the south of Algeria okay. and is made from barley. And uh -huh. this one is from the wheat uh -huh. and is uh, with the chicken and uh, vegetables. Mm. Usually this one we can make with a lamb. Okay. But as today I ma we made this one with the lamb, uh -huh. we want to change to make with the chicken oh. also. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we need to have a sauce. Oh. The sauce uh -huh. must be there, I mean, for the, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, for the uh -huh. test. So this is the important one. <laughs> yes. This one which is with sugar and uh, Reason it's mm -hmm. may it is eaten as a dessert. Oh, I see. The other thing to know about this sefa or masfur mm -hmm. during Ramadan we fast, right? So, and we have only mm -hmm. two meals a day. The first meal uh -huh. is with the sunset, oh, okay. and the second meal uh -huh. is just before we go to, to bed. Okay, so okay. that's why uh -huh. we take this because it is very light, mm -hmm. so we can digest it very quickly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. In Algeria, we say Saha wa Afia. That's Saha, mean health. Saha wa Afia. It means bon appétit. Bon appétit. Saha wa Afia. Saha wa Afia. Mm -hmm. Is it delicious? Yes, it is. It is. I really, really like it. Mm. 
I love the soft texture of kush kush. Mm. It's really healthy because it's from wheat and well, yes, we said before, mm -hmm. and we have vegetables and mm -hmm. we have a, right, right, and mm -hmm. chicken and meat. Mm -hmm. Everything good for your body. Yeah. <laughs> then when you eat, you have energy. Right. <laughs> So today we prepared some of the uh, our cake, traditional wow. cakes. <laughs> Usually full, uh, our cakes are from the almonds and uh, dates. So here we have used some. Mm -hmm. um, before I try the sweet desserts, could you explain more about the dates? So today we brought the best one in the world. Wow. <laughs> and it is called the Deglet Door. Okay. They grow only in one oasis in Algeria. Oh. Not in many. Okay. Many people who see this for the first time, they think that they have used some uh, honey on this Yes, leaves, or glaze. Or which something. is not the case. It's their natural honey, if you can name it honey. Wow. But it is naturally like this from the tree. Oh really? Yeah. So you didn't add anything and Nothing. you didn't cook it's at all? It's nature from the tree. Wow. And you can see its branches. It is still with, the, with its oh, branches. Oh yes, right, yeah. right. <laughs> it is a microclimate uh -huh. and you cannot grow it out of this microclimate. Mm. Mm. It's very sweet. It is. Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like the, the tastiest mixture of fig and um, dates. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Some also they found that there is a taste of the pumpkin. Oh, yes, also. right, right, right. Some they uh -huh. said that. Uh -huh. Very, very delicious. Yeah. Very. Mm -hmm. So this one we call it cigar. Mm -hmm. it's actually, it's dough with the almonds inside. So yeah. is it fried? Yes, oh, is it fried oh, with okay. the honey on oh. the top? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. I can taste the almond inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. I like all of the foods. Thank, Thank you so much. Well, the pleasure is for us. Mm -hmm. um, ambassador, I have a couple more questions to ask you. What is your philosophy as an ambassador? Well, as an ambassador, the philosophy, of, I, I guess it is common to all diplomats. Mm. It's just to cultivate friendship. Mm. Mm. Right. And of course the rapprochement mm -hmm. between the people. That's why one segment of our uh, diplomacy, maybe here you call it public diplomacy. Oh, right. We call it people to people di diplomacy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It means we bring the people to interact together. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not a matter of the relations between the two countries. It's not a matter only of diplomats and politicians, but it's also a matter of the people. Mm, I see. Is there anything that you would like to do during your stay here in Korea? To continue cooperation, cultural cooperation with the Koreans. I see. I love it. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. And I'm really looking forward to both of your future activities here in Korea to um, further enhance our friendship. That's also our wish. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming and we are very happy to have you today with us and that we share together our culture and our food and uh, we hope you, you like it. Yes, I did like it. Um, how do you say goodbye in Algeria? Perfect. Oh, you look. Oh, you say it very well. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>